What in the world, bro? It's your boy, Big Little Country. Now, look, I'm pretty sure y'all seen the description. Now, for everybody that doesn't know, Dean Pease is the new defense coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons. Now, we know that Dean Pease has had a lot of great history with safeties over the years, but the most famous safety that he's had, that he's coached, was Ed Reed. Now, look, for everybody out there that doesn't know me, my name is Big Low Country. I'm just an old country boy that loves to sit around and talk about sports, former coach. Make sure that you do a country boy a favor and hit that subscribe button, man. I promise you, if you hit that subscribe button, I'll dance at your wedding one day. But look, let's go ahead and get what y'all came here for. <laughs> and let's talk about some football. So, Richie Grant is the number two pick for the Atlanta Falcons. We picked him in the second round. And, you know, he's going to be playing one of those safety roles for us. So uh, we're going to talk about, you know, basically what Dean Pease did uh, with Ed Reed. And uh, if y'all can see him right here, this is Ed Reed in this particular front um, or in this particular formation. And, you know, one thing that I noticed that everyone's talking about uh, with the Atlanta Falcons is that they're going to be running that 3-4 defense this year. Now, if you count this right here, you'll see that um i got four guys with their hands in the ground bo what in the world <laughs> now dp's told everybody when, when in his introductory press conference he said look bo i'm going to let y'all know something i'm not running exclusively a three four defense it all depends on down the distance so in this particular play right here uh we actually have a first and ten uh, right at the edge of the red zone so, uh, you know, of course, he's looking for the run just in case they do run. But uh, as you can see here, they're running the nickel set. Um, they got two linebackers on the field. Count them out right here. One, two. And then you got your five defensive backs. One, two, three, four, five. So uh, one thing that they're going to do a little bit differently uh, in this particular formation is that uh, they're actually going to run a cover two, but it's going to be a little bit funky. And one of the reasons why it's going to be a little bit funky is because uh, the Steelers, in this particular play, uh, they're running trips. And those trips are whenever you have uh, three wide receivers on one side of the ball, and, and they're running those trips. Now, one thing about those trips, in almost every situation, is going to be a clear out play. And whenever I mean, whenever what I, what I mean by a clear out play is that um, a lot of times you'll have one guy, uh, he might be running the seam route and he's running up the field. And then you also have another guy, you know, he'll run out, you know, maybe about seven yards and cut in, try to see if he could put this safety right here, which is Ed Reed, try to put that safety in no man's land. So uh, we're just going to see, you know, how Dean Pease coached him up. Um, and just some of the basic fundamentals that this team, you know, follow, uh, which led to an interception. I'm sorry, I spoiled the movie. <laughs> I spoiled the movie. And this particular play is going to be an interception. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, see how it unfolds, and then we're going to really break it down, Bo. We're going to really break it down. So let's see what we got here, Bo. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Interception. Ed Reed. And of course, Ed Reed does Ed Reed tings when he gets the ball. <laughs> Whenever Ed Reed get the ball and they start yelling, Oski, Oski, Oski. Hey, you got some problems on your hand. So uh, like I was saying, so so this right here is a is a, a cover two. And in this particular case, most of the time uh, your safeties. Um, and these are your two safeties right here. Most of the time, your safeties run that, that cover too. But on this play, guys, it's actually kind of different because since they're running those trips down here and they got these three guys um, on the right side of the ball, a wide receiver, they're going to actually bring this safety down. And he's going to play a little bit of a hook zone. He's going to play everything five yards everything five yards to the line of scrimmage, and he's going to cover this whole zone. He's going to cover this whole zone right here. Meanwhile, you got this cornerback. He's going to play this deep man, uh, this deep half of the field, while Ed Reed on the other side, he's going to play this deep half of the field. And while he's playing this deep half of the field, he's going to be shading 
He's going to be shading this wide receiver's outside shoulder. So he's going to make sure that this wide receiver doesn't get to the outside on him. And while he does that, everything is going to be happening um, on the other side of the ball. So uh, Ed Reed, he's actually going to have to pay attention to what happens. Because like I said, you know, we're going to have this guy. He's going to come down. And he's going to clear out. Meanwhile, uh, Heath Miller, he's going to be running that seam route up the field, trying to get this ball in the end zone. But let's just take a look, and I'm, I'm going to actually run it back in slow motion so we can see exactly when Ed Reed made that decision and uh, see exactly uh, how he got back to the end zone so quickly. A lot of people will say, man, he just had some great recovery speed to get back to the end zone. But that's not that's not just the case. It not it wasn't the fact that he had the, just that great recovery speed. He actually trusted his teammates. So let's stop it right here. So 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 you see Ed Reed. He's actually looking in the backfield. And one thing that I want everybody to pay attention to, um, to show that this team was well coached. And one reason why I'm so excited to have Dean Pease on the team is because everybody is looking at the quarterback. You see this? You see this? All seven guys that are dropped back in coverage got their hips squared up to the quarterback and they're looking at the quarterback. Everybody has their has their eyes on the quarterback. I tell my guys, if you're playing zone coverage, I want you to look at that quarterback. Keep your eyes on the quarterback like he's the prettiest girl at the prom. <laughs> if you keep your eyes on him like he's the prettiest girl at the prom, you know, we just let our athleticism do the rest. Now, since since they're running that nickel coverage and we got these two linebackers down here. We got these two linebackers down here. You know, they're actually going to do a good job of making sure that they stay in front of this inside man. So if they stay in front of this inside man, Ed Reed up here at the top, he's free to go back, make sure that he covers Make sure that nobody scores a touchdown because at the end of the day, that's your safety's job. Your safety's job is to be the safety. Make sure nothing gets past them. So let's go ahead and uh, play it a little bit more to see what we got going on here. And I'm going to stop it right here. All right. So you see here, your wide receiver, he actually stopped. He curled in. So Ed Reed, you see him right here. He, he's looking in the backfield. Now, while he's looking in the backfield, you got to think he's also he, he also has a feel for the pressure. He also knows when that quarterback has to get rid of that ball. Football, you got to make decisions very quickly. You got to make decisions very quickly. So in the meantime, while he's doing that, uh, he, he sees that you know this linebacker he has you know he's actually in front of that uh, that wide receiver. But another thing that he sees is that oh man. My slot cornerback, he actually let Heath Miller get inside of him. So whenever whenever he realized that that happened, he knows that he has some decisions he has to make. He has to get back as quick as he can to make sure that there's not a touchdown. So you see him, he looks. All right, now watch this right here. So you see him, he realizes, he realizes that Heath Miller's running up the field. Here's Heath Miller right here. He realizes he's running up the field. Now check this out. Watch how Ed Reed pops his hips to his left to get back as quick as he can and high points this ball. Boom. Popped his hips. Track of the ball. Interception. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, that's basically what we want from Richie Grant. I know, um, you know, it's one of those things where uh, everyone says that Richie Grant is, was one of the smartest guys um, in the secondary in this rookie class. And, you know, that's actually perfect for our defense. Now, y'all know I always talk about the pretty side of the ball. It's my favorite. This, this is my favorite angle to watch ball from right here, Bo. Whenever you got your offensive line and your defensive line, you know, going up against each other, this right here is what gets me going. Now, one thing that I learned about Richie Grant from the film study that I watched is 
he's a lot like Ed Reed in feeling that pass rush, especially when he's playing that zone coverage. And what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes defensive lines, they could get a little bit more pressure uh, on some plays more than other plays. While he's back there playing that zone coverage, I noticed that Richie Grant, he kind of feels it out. and He knows when to jump. He knows when to jump and when to take his chances. You got to know when to hold him, know when to fold him, know when to walk away, know when to run. Now, look, if we look at this particular play right here, Bo, the first thing that I noticed is, first of all, number 73, what in the world, Bo? I want y'all to pay attention to number 73. This defensive tackle, he's going to be the hero of the play. Um, he, he's going to blow this center up. And, uh, you know, number 73, he's just going to get a left hand on him. Then he's going to act like he's going to split out to the right tackle. Now, I don't know if he didn't want to play or what, but he was just out there taking up space. He was getting a free paycheck out there, bro. <laughs> so keep your eye on number 73. Um, and, and basically, we're, we're going to see how uh, this defensive uh, pass rush uh, help create this interception. So let's take a look at it, see what we got here. So you see that? It almost looked like number 73 didn't want, it almost looked like he didn't even want to fool with the defensive tackle. <laughs> he didn't even want to fool with him. He's like, man, I, I just touch him, then I just split off. Meanwhile, you see Charlie Batch right here, he gave him that little uh, that little pump fake, then you can tell whenever he made that throw, he didn't feel comfortable making that throw. He didn't feel comfortable making that throw. He didn't get a chance to step into it, and it uh, looks like it was also a little rushed. Uh, it's hard to throw the ball whenever you got people around your legs. It's always hard to throw the ball in that particular case. So uh, this is what I always talk about, guys. Whenever I talk about uh, defense, uh, a lot of times, People will say things like, oh, well, uh, you know, they have a good secondary. They got a good back seven. They just need a better front seven. When it comes to football, it's a team effort, especially on defense, guys, especially on defense. The reason why I say that is because the front half alters what happens with the, with the back half and vice versa. You know, at the end of the day, you need the whole team clicking on all cylinders. Now, I'm excited about having Richie Grant play on this team, especially after watching these, uh, after, after watching this film study, because I see a lot of Richie Grant, well, I see a lot of Ed Reed in Richie Grant. Um, he knows when to, you know, actually try to hawk the ball, but he also knows how to read the defense, how to read uh, the pass rush, and, you know, how to position himself, trust his teammates. All those are very big uh, attributes that can help our defense become better over a period of time, man. Definitely, definitely. Hey, man, I just want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all chilling out with me. Make sure that you do a country boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button, bro. <laughs> also, hit the like button. And look, I need everybody to comment because, first of all, not just because I replied to all comments, but I also want to know what y'all thinking. Does this film study, do, 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 or does this make you excited about getting Richie Grant on this team, on this defense? I'm definitely excited after looking at this and after looking at his college tape and everything. I'm ready to go, Bo. I'm ready for the season. <laughs> Look, man, y'all be easy. Don't do nothing I would do. Rise up, A-Town down. Y'all stay safe.